What's current at Reclamation? The Bureau of Reclamation remained focused on its enduring priorities this quarter, people, partnerships, and investments. In Denver, Reclamation hosted 48 people from around the world at the 32nd Annual Safety Evaluation of Existing Dams International Technical Seminar and Study Tour. The event brought together people from six countries to learn about dam safety and operations through classroom discussions and through facility tours. Reclamation's hosted this seminar since 1989, with participation from more than 1,000 technical staff from 74 countries. Phase one of the Truckee Canal Public Safety Improvement Project is in full swing. It's a multi-phase project to restore the safe, long-term operations of the Truckee Canal. The 31-mile-long canal provides water for more than 50,000 acres of farmland, wildlife, and communities in western Nevada. The project, funded by President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law, will add approximately 3.5 miles of concrete lining to a vulnerable stretch of earth and canal. Reclamation's collaborating with the Truckee Carson Irrigation District to complete the project, which will increase public safety and improve reliability of water supply for the city of Fernley. Big Sandy Reservoir in Wyoming is now even bigger. This two-year construction project included raising the crest of the Big Sandy Dam spillway by five feet, excavating and rehabilitating existing dam and dike embankments, modifying the outlet works, tow drain, filter trench, and feeder canal, and installing a cement bentonite cutoff wall. This increased the reservoir's total storage capacity by 13,700 feet and was completed this past summer just in time to capture this past spring's remarkable runoff. The additional storage will improve the operation of the reservoir, allowing for more consistent water deliveries throughout the irrigation season. The razorback sucker is a federally endangered fish species native to the Colorado River Basin, and Reclamation funds and oversees three programs to manage razorback suckers. These management activities include re-establishing a razorback sucker population with hatchery-reared fish and removal of non-native fish species that prey on and compete with razorback suckers. After nearly 30 years of collecting wild-born razorback sucker larvae from Lake Mojave and returning them to the lake as subadults or adults, the estimated razorback sucker population is currently the second highest it's been since the late 1990s, and the level of genetic variation present within the population is remaining consistent over time. When a community and federal agencies work together as a team, they can achieve great things for the benefit of society. In June, the South Dakota Army National Guard trained at Belfouche Reservoir as part of its annual Golden Coyote exercise. The soldiers set up camp in the Fruitdale area on the south side of Belfouche Reservoir while they completed projects for reclamation. Between August 17th and 20th, the 842nd Engineer Company worked on improvements that included road grading, installing culverts, and spreading gravel on newly established routes at the reservoir. Reclamation ensures the soldiers have all the materials needed for the job, and the partnership of the Guard, Reclamation, and South Dakota Game, Fish, and Parks is made possible through the Innovative Readiness Program. One purpose of the Yakima Basin Integrated Plan is to evaluate facilities at Clay Ellum Dam in Washington. Another is to provide fish access to historic habitat and restore biodiversity. Reclamation works closely with its partners on this project, including the Yakima Nation and many others, to implement the Clay Ellum Dam Fish Passage Project. The Bureau of Reclamation released its Climate Change Adaptation Strategy this year. It outlines how reclamation will combat climate change. The strategy focuses on four goals, increasing water management flexibility, enhance climate adaptation planning, improve infrastructure resilience, and expand information sharing. The strategy also affirms how reclamation will use leading science and engineering to adapt to human-caused climate change. Commissioner Tootin joined World Bank leadership in Washington, D.C. to highlight the importance of partnerships, communication, and strategic investments when managing water in challenging conditions. 
Reclamation's achievements and strategies for managing water in the Colorado River Basin set the stage for a conversation between World Bank leaders to share their challenges and successes in deploying water investments. Reclamation's experience in the American West resonated with the panelists facing drought worldwide. Reclamation is investing $8.3 billion from the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law and $4.6 billion from the Inflation Reduction Act in water infrastructure projects, including water purification and reuse, water storage and conveyance, water conservation, desalination, and dam safety. This is the largest investment in climate resiliency in our nation's history and helps Reclamation implement actions now and in the long term to protect the Colorado River system. And we're not done yet. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, X, and YouTube. If you have a story to highlight, send your story ideas to communications at usbr.gov. That's communications at usbr.gov. That's what's current at Reclamation.